is up you guys it is your girl Yamani plush welcome back to the channel the video the banger whatever you want to call it we are going to start this video off by color correcting you already seen this title so i don't need to run my mouth about what i'm about to do it's already obvious so let's just get straight into it now i'm gonna leave all the products in the description bar because lord knows a lot of them i cannot remember the name but I know for a fact that I got this from Amazon and it comes in clutch with my color correcting, my contouring, as well as when I do my installs on my clients. So I'm about to use this orange color and cover up all the dark spots on my face because lately I've been breaking out and there's a reason for that. And I will give you guys the update on my channel very soon, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So <laughs> we're about to go ahead and, and color correct this, you know, spotted face. And we're going to get straight into it. You feel me? So I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. As you can see, getting my skin to look as, you know, flawless as possible before I put on my foundation. And yeah, in order to be Rihanna, you got to be flawless, bitch. So, yes. Now we're going into foundation and concealer. Now I use Juvia's Place foundation sticks and these are clutch. Um, I'm about to look like a warrior princess the way I put it on. And for me, it's just for me to save product. I don't really like too much foundation on my face. So you're gonna see why I say that in a minute. Um, at once I color correct, I feel like my skin is pretty okay. But I don't feel like I need that much product on my face in order to achieve the look that I'm trying to achieve. So what happens is I just go in and just blend where the pieces are going to stay. So I conceal under my eyes and I do makeup, you know, every, I mean foundation everywhere else. So you guys are about to see like the way I'm blending. You'll see that it makes sense. In Rihanna's un apologetic album cover she is really really glossy and dewy looking um she's really highlighted like under her eyes and especially above her lip so that's the look i was trying to go for i wanted it to be as close and resemblance as possible you guys also if i have not mentioned which i didn't i already did my eyebrows prior to recording i just feel like eyebrows take it, like I like my eyebrows in a particular way and I've done them so many times on camera. It's no need to show you guys. So I'm gonna take some setting powder and go under my eye. I'm using the transparent setting powder. I think it's the um the air spun, yeah. I'm using air spun transparent um setting powder under my eyes just to bake in that, you know, that concealer that I just put on my face. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get it to set in and not crease. Right, right now, I'm looking like Casper the Ghost, but please do not worry, do not fret. I will make myself look more like human. <laughs> so I'm using my Huda Beauty <laughs> Desert Dust Palette, and I'm just going in with a really, really basic eye. I'm only going in with one, with one color, just to give my eyes a little bit of dimension. And I'm using this color right here, which is OUD. And I'm just gonna put it basically at my lash line and basically just blend it out until it doesn't look so harsh. And that's the only thing I'm gonna do. And you guys are about to see me do that right now. Please excuse my bonnet and my edges because y'all know I'll be struggling. But just don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to this beautiful look that I'm trying to give y'all. <laughs> Please, I'm so sorry. So as I said, I'm just gonna take it at my lash line and then just basically blend it out to where it looks seamless and it's extremely blended. It gives me a little look of mysteria. It's nothing too crazy. It's absolutely only one color that I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. This look came out so nice, you guys. Like, I couldn't believe how good I achieved it. It was so, like, the overall project. You guys, let me know if you want, because this video was only for makeup, the makeup look that I did. But if you guys want to see, you know, part two to how I edited the photo and how I made it look exactly like the album cover, then let me know down in the comments. So I'm blending, I'm blending, I'm blending, and I'm blending, and I'm blending, and I'm blending. 
God damn, why well, didn't I speed this part up? There we go. <laughs> okay. So now I feel like I'm about to. Okay, now I switch brushes and I'm using the same color in my under eye. So if you look at the album cover, she looks really dark and mysterious. Like not dark, but she looks like around her eyes, she looks really, really mysterious. So I was just trying to recreate that whole vibe. So I took a different brush, a smaller brush, and I took the product and I went right in that lower lash line. Yep. I'm giving y'all a little bit of color, but I'm about to I'm about to give y'all color all over my face too because I look I look a little dead. I don't know. I look funeral ready, but it's okay. We about to we about to zhuzh it up. We about to zhuzh it up in my Rachel Ray voice. Okay, you guys. So next step, here comes the revival. So I'm about to revive my entire face because I look a mess. I look so white and pale. So I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier powder in translucent medium deep. I think it's translucent medium deep. Like I said, these products will be in the description. Um, and I'm just giving myself some color. I'm giving myself back some color with an undertone of highlight under my eyes. Well, con um, concealer under my eyes. You guys can see that I concealed, but at the same time, I have some color to my skin. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm applying that all over my entire face um, just to get like a, a canvas a blank canvas like a beautiful flawless canvas so you see as you guys can see um it met my color matches my neck you know i didn't go too far off with the colors i stuck completely to my colors oh the foundation sticks that i use i think it's called um marceline oh. I don't know how to, Marcherina and Brasilia was my concealer color, but I'll put that all down in the description. If I don't, just tell me in the comments and I'll edit it. <laughs> now it's time to contour. Now, if you guys see my Amazon favorites video, you know that this is a favorite for me. I use this for makeup as well as for insoles. And I freaking love this little thing. I love this little palette. And I'm about to contour my face. Not too deep, because she doesn't really have too much going on as far as makeup. It's really basic. It's really, like, flawless. It's really seamless. And it's more so, like, more highlight and bold eyes. So I try not to do anything too heavy. I try not to make it look unrealistic or not unnatural. And that's as far as it gets on that side. And I'm just going to contour around my entire face this way, not do too much, just make it look just natural and, you know, set in, child. Because, I, like I said, I needed to bring some color back to my face. I'm going all around my chin because we all know your Rihanna has a slim face and I don't. <laughs> so I'm just changing the lighting so you guys can see that I'm not looking crazy. I'm going in with some MAC Studio bronzer and I'm just going to go around the entire wheel and just give myself a little bit of shimmer because like I said, her look is really glowy. Um, so I decided to give myself some glow just to emulate this, you know, homage to Rihanna to a T. Like I wanted to look like her to a T as much as I could. So I'm taking some Ilya. I think that's how you pronounce it mascara and i'm just gonna go in and mascara these eyelashes chair and i'm slowly slowly coming to life i know y'all like girl yes finally with some color to your skin and i just now got good at putting mascara on guys i used to always fear that i would poke myself in the eye or that i would get it on my up i would always get it on my lid like it was a mess doing makeup before was a mess but I'm getting there, I'm getting there, or whatever. So, um, she also has like a dramatic lower lash. Um, yeah, so I'm about to put, also, her lash, like I said, this look is completely, completely natural. So, I went in with the smallest lashes I had, which happened to be some plastic ones. <laughs> and I can't seem to put my lashes on on camera, so I had to go off camera. Now, back to what I was saying about the dramatic lower lash. 
I'm using NARS Climax Mascara on my lower lash because her lower lash was way more dramatic than mine were. So I had to go in and zhuzh it up a little bit as you guys can see. You can see the difference between the two eyes. Like I had to make it way more dramatic. So um, this look took me quite a while because I kept resorting to the photo to make sure that I was doing the best of my ability to look like Rihanna. Like the best of my ability with what I had. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep saying it. I know y'all tired of hearing it, but her eyes were really dramatic. The most dramatic thing about her face. And then she had like a really, really deep highlight on her upper lip. So yeah. So now this part is the most crucial part of the entire look. Anybody knows that Rihanna has a really, really, really deep upper lip cuff like right above her uh, below her cupid's bow so i tried to emulate that as best as possible because i have really full kind of round lips at the top and bottom so i tried to make her like and she has really creased like inner corners of her mouth so i tried to emulate that as best as i could um with this liquid lipstick that i got from bh cosmetics and her lip was really like dark and bold. And this is the darkest red lipstick that I had. So I just had to improvise and use um, some black eyeshadow on top. I know y'all are like, what the fuck? But no, it worked, trust me. Trust me, it worked. For, for the image, it did. Now, as you guys can see, I'm about to show you how I'm about to do it. It's just really light. I try not to use too much black eyeshadow to overpower the red lipstick. And as you guys can see, there's still an undertone. I used some highlighter. I can't remember the name right now. All I can remember is the color, which is Peach Kiss. And it really made this look look how I wanted it to look. It wasn't too bronzy. It was, it was like a perfect champagne highlighter because she's really, really, really glowy in her photos. So... Now I'm just gonna pop it into my nose, the bridge of my nose, to give me that strong highlight that she has, as well as the inner corners of my eyes. So she has highlight, but it's really dramatic in the middle of her face. Like the midline of her face is extremely highlighted from her, the top of her lip to in between her eyes. So I try to emulate that as best as I could guys and you guys could just let me know how I did down below let me know if I slayed this look y'all let me know if I got anywhere close let me know if you guys want to see um how I did the editing process of the photos um all of that I give y'all all of that I also want to say happy Halloween today is actually October 31st even though I did this a few days ago sorry y'all I'm slacking Happy Halloween, you guys. Let me know if you like my Rihanna impression down below. I loved it once I was done. I just was in love with it. If you guys could please, please, please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, comment down below your favorite parts. I will love you forever. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Yamani plus underscore. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.